Welcome to this episode of Miata in Action. This week I'm talking about the 5 things I hate about my 2016 Miata. The things I'm going to name in this list are going to be tiny things actually because I love the car. The car does what it's designed to do but there are a few things you should consider before buying one. So let's get into the list. Now first up in this list is luggage space. Now we all know the 2016 MX-5 in the station wagon so please do not ask it to be one. The car has enough space for its tiny dimensions and I'm gonna tell you all the spaces it has and what you can use it for. So the first location in the cabin is between the seats. It, this is the biggest compartment you have inside the car uh, and I use it to put my papers in, to put the KW suspension key, sunglasses, mostly everything is in there and it's a really big compartment. It's bigger than most glove boxes and I gotta say I really do not need more space inside the car. Now the second place you have is in the center console I use it for a garage opener or some coins to put in there for shopping carts then the remaining spaces inside the cabin are behind the seats now each seat has a little cubby hole behind it uh, which is useful for putting like uh, tools in or first aid kit that you do not need very often and even for the guys if you get one like mine's like this long first aid kit I just put it behind the seat and it's just perfect the seat still goes back all the way and such so it really fits there so then we arrive at the trunk now the trunk of the Mazda MX-5 has a capacity of 130 liters which isn't a lot but it's enough for like daily groceries uh, going to work if you're like me and you only need a duffel bag on a daily basis but also if you want to go on road trips you have two options now the first option is the luggage set that Mazda provides for the car I gotta say it's very pricey it, it consists of two trolleys and two bags but the other option is the roadster bag set that's the one i got it's a three-piece luggage set uh, i've bought mine at il motorsport it's like a fourth the price of the mazda set and yeah it works very well so number two has to do with wind noise at high speed. Now all soft tops have this issue, when you go driving at high speed there will be some kind of wind noise. Now the Mazda MX-5 doesn't have the baddest sound of wind noise but after a long drive it could be cumbersome. But here is a sound clip and check it out for yourself. So you hear there is a lot of wind noise which can get annoying after a very long drive on the highway but I gotta say it's not the worst I've heard. But let's go on to number 3. Now number 3 is one I'm gonna go over pretty fast because I have a future video coming where I show you how to install the Sunsport grill on the front. But yeah, the front grille on the MX-5 only has like 3 horizontal bars in it and it's just wide open, I can put my hand through it, touch the radiator, whatever. So a stone could, or a rock could just fly through, puncture your radiator. I know it's a small chance, but there is a chance. So it's easy to fix by putting a grill in front of it like the one I put on, which is the Zoom Sport, which will be a future video. So number 4 is one that could be very personal to me, but some other road testers like the smoking tire have said the same thing. Like, the MX-5 on the Bilstein shocks has a lot of body roll when you push the two corners. The stock suspension does it even more because it's even softer than the Bilstein's. Now, if you want a very soft cruising car, then that's just awesome, that's very good for a cruising car. But if you're like me and you want a more sporty car, you really want to get rid of that body roll and get a more direct feel for what the car is doing. For that I have changed over to a coilover setup, some people have told me they used lowering springs for getting that effect and even other people have said that sway bars will just do for the car. So do your research, do, look at what you want to get out of your suspension setup and then maybe change it. Now number 5 I'm just gonna talk about a few annoyances that I have with the car. Now the first thing is the doors do not automatically lock when you go over a certain speed. My 2006 car, my previous car from 2006 had this option and it's really handy against car jackings. So Mazda, I do not get why these electronically controlled locks cannot lock themselves over a certain speed. Please update this if you can. Now, then we have the daytime running lights, that's just my opinion but I really think it's stupid to turn them off when the headlights turn on. It are LEDs, they don't blind anyone. I'm 
really certain these could stay on all the time and it would, would look so cool. So that concludes this week's video on Miata in action, the 5 things that are a bit negative about my 2016 MX-5. If you liked the video and found it informative, hit the like button below. If you have any questions or suggestions, post them in the comments. Next week we're talking about the 5 things I love about my car and I really look forward to that video because I love my car, I really do. You all have a great week and I'll see you next week for another episode of Miata in action.